This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Good afternoon, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for March 21, 2023. And in the news this afternoon, attempted robbery of NCB ATM in Manchester. Security guards and the janitors were tied up as the thieves attempted to rob a National Commercial Bank automated teller machine in Manchester early this morning. The incident happened at the Reliance Centre on Manchester Road in Mandeville. It is reported that about 2 a.m., several men armed with guns converged at the building and tied up security guards and the janitors. One of the guards was beaten by the criminals. He was subsequently taken to a hospital for treatment. The police said while the thieves were able to damage the machine, they failed to get cash from it. This was a second time criminals in the past three weeks attempted to rob the location. According to crime officer for Manchester, Dennis Simpson, security guards at the mall were attacked by armed men recently. He said a struggle ensued and the firearm of one of the criminals was discharged in the process. No one was hurt. Simpson said there will be increased patrols in the area even as the police seek to apprehend the perpetrators. Any assistance we can get from security companies that monitor these ATMs as it relates to coverage, periodical visits, and so on, we will appreciate, he said. Red Stripe warns the public about scam. Red Stripe is warning the public about a scam, offering money to persons to participate in a promotion. The brewery company says unscrupulous persons are circulating a fraudulent link labeled Red Stripe 105th Anniversary Promotion Subsidy. It says that this activity is a hoax and is not connected to the Red Stripe brand. The company underscores that this unauthorized use of Red Stripe's trade name and trademarks is contrary to the law. Any person or persons engaged in this practice should immediately cease and desist the posting, sharing and the broadcasting and reposting, resharing and rebroadcasting of this website link. Man charged over robbery of Kipperich's apartment. The police have charged a man in connection with the robbery of the apartment of dancehall artist Kipperich in Portmore, St. Catherine. Kemar Jones, 21, of 11 miles at Bull Bay, St. Andrew, was charged on Monday with housebreaking and larceny. He is scheduled to appear before the St. Catherine Parish Court on Friday. It is being alleged that about 10.45 a.m. on March 11, Jones broke into the dwelling and stole several items, including a Rolex watch valued at US $15,000, a gold chain valued at US $12,000, and sunglasses valued at US $450, along with US $15,000 and a Canadian $300 in cash. The accused was subsequently held after some of the stolen items were recovered in downtown Kingston. St. Anne man charged after gun allegedly found under pillow. The police in St. Anne have charged a man after an illegal gun was allegedly found under a pillow on his bed. 34-year-old Alric Francis of Perry Hill St. Catherine and defeats Penn Monique St. Anne has been charged with the possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The seizure was made in the Fitz Penn community on Sunday, March 19. Reports from the St. Anne's Bay Police are that about midday, lawmen conducted an operation in the area when Francis's house was searched. According to the police, a 9mm pistol affixed with a magazine containing 8 9mm rounds was found under the pillow on a bed he was lying on. The firearm and ammunition were secured, and Francis was arrested and subsequently charged for the seizure. His court date is being finalized. Students at top building at the Queen's School School administrators were forced to summon the police to St. Andrew-based all-girls high school Queen's on Tuesday morning after an incident involving students at the institution. It is understood that three students went on a roof and refused to come down. At least one of the students threatened to jump the news on their stands. It is unknown what caused the students to go on the roof but reports suggest that an internal conflict between fourth form students is behind the decision. Police have declined to comment on the development, but the news understands that a team of officers is now at the school, speaking to the students and the principal. 
Further, reports indicate there were a series of fights between students at the institution on Tuesday. Efforts to contact a member of the institution for comment were futile. Body of Missing Bearer Found in Gully The body of a 26-year-old man who was reported missing last Saturday was found Tuesday morning in Mother White Gully of Spanish Town Road in the vicinity of the Horizon Adult Remand Center in Kingston. He has been identified as Kemar Forbes, a bearer from a Greenwich Farm address. According to police sources, Forbes received multiple gunshot wounds to the head. It is suspected that Forbes was killed on Spanish Town Road and later dumped in the gully. The Kingston Western Police are now processing the scene. Bail hearing adjourned for Latvian Simpson, airport security accused of operating drug trafficking ring. A Latvian citizen and a female security guard attached to the Norman Manley International Airport, who are jointly charged in connection with a suspected drug trafficking ring operating from the airport, had their bail hearing adjourned until March 23. It is expected that at that time, the investigating officer will verify their addresses. Rehard Openiks, 30, and Tarika Millwood, 32, were both arrested on March 10 at the airport after being found in possession of cocaine. The cocaine weighed 4.4 kilograms with a street value of US $3,800. The court was told that if the item was transported to England, which was where Opinix was scheduled to travel to, it would then be valued at $70,000 per kilogram, totaling approximately US $300,000. Opinix is represented by defense counsels Peter Champagny Casey, Richard Lynch, and Rajin Williams. He is a software customer service representative from Riga, Latvia. Millwood, on the other hand, is represented by defense counsel Alexander Shaw. Both were subsequently charged with a conspiracy to export cocaine, and Openix was charged with the additional offenses of possession of, dealing in, and attempting to export cocaine. During the bail application in the Kingston and the St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday, Champagne told the court that based on the nature of Openix's occupation, he works remotely. As such, the attorney said his client travels to warmer climates during the frigid winter months. We want to urge the court to consider bail for him, Champagne said. It was also revealed that when it was time for Openix to leave the island, he purchased the liquor from a store in New Kingston, brought the receipt to the airport, and was given the product when he was about to check in. The news understands that Openix that checked in at the Norman Manley International Airport to board a United Kingdom-bound flight when he was stopped and searched. Champagne said during his arrest, Opinix said they must have given him the wrong package and I only see these kinds of things in movies. The attorney also said that Opinix was originally questioned as a witness, then later arrested and charged. Investigators believed that Millwood conspired with Opinix in an attempt to facilitate the smuggling of the cocaine through the airport. Champagne, in his bid for his client to be offered bail, told the parish judge Vanessa Blackstock Murray that his client's wife, who resides in Texas and was in court, procured a rental residence for him to stay if he was granted bail. A receipt detailing the rental deposit was presented to the court. Meanwhile, Shaw told the court that Millwood is a mother of two who has been stationed at the airport for seven years. The attorney said his client does not know opinions and has no prior convictions. Additionally, Shaw stated that due to her arrest, her children were adversely affected. He went further to say that her 13-year-old daughter has been crying every day since her arrest. She looks forward to the day she can ventilate her case, Shaw said. The Crown informed the judge that she doesn't oppose a bail for both accused persons, however strict conditions can be imposed. It was revealed that the forensic certificate, corroborating officer's statement and the communication forensic and the cybercrime division report is outstanding. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.